Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. So this morning in Monster Strike, we got a bunch of buffs to a bunch of characters. Um, so in this video, we'll have a look at a few of them. And then uh, this might be the first in a, a series of videos. Uh, but here, let's look at a Gimlet and a World in particular. And then uh, these were the two that I was maybe the most interested in. Um, so that's why I'm doing the first video about them. Uh, but basically, they're both uh, Pierce characters with strong homing bump combos. And uh, yeah, those are very important to me because I don't have Alice still. <laughs> um, even before though they got these buffs, they were already pretty strong with their bump combos, but now they're super duper strong. Uh, Gimlet now, he has both his main and his sub. If you put them together, uh, he has 20 of the super homing shots. Uh, that's that uh, magic 3345 uh, damage. And then um, yeah, the 20 shots, that's a lot of, um, that's a lot of hits. And then the, uh, the sub uh, bump combo is dark, um, so that can actually work well in uh, light stages as well. Um, his stats also got a buff. I think his uh, HP went up and then his attack went up. And of course his speed is still the uh, top in the game. Um, so actually stats-wise, he's pretty good as well. Uh, no gauge either, even though he's got the double null, the uh, flight null damage wall. Um, so that's very nice. And I think he has the super null damage wall, so when he hits the damage wall, he'll get the power-up for the rest of that turn. His strike shot might have also gotten buffed, which was already very strong to begin with, so... Yeah, he's definitely one of the characters that uh, came out uh, better in this buff. Uh, the next character is World, and then uh, he is a Pierce with a Flight and Null Gravity Barrier. Uh, also no gauge, which is great. And then um, his bump combo got kind of mixed up a little bit. Uh, not mixed up, changed up. <laughs> uh, his main, or his uh, number one bump combo, is the uh, kind of the super homing, which is like 10,000 per hit. And then he has 18 of those, which I think is the same as uh, Ben's items. That's pretty crazy. And then the sub bump combo is the, uh, it's like a short range um, concentrated spread. And then uh, this bump combo might be uh, kind of under the people's radars uh, because usually it's a sub bump combo on a character. Uh, but at full power, like it is here with uh, World, it's pretty strong. Um, so yeah, if you want to keep an eye on him uh, and then look at him doing damage to guys uh, very close to him, I think we'll see him uh, doing a lot of damage. Uh, his strike shot is the same, I think. It's just the, uh, the delay in the first um, round. And then the second round, it's a delay plus a uh, speed and power-up. Okay, but we're going very quickly through a Queen Butterfly here. And actually, I played this uh, yesterday uh, with the same team before the buffs came into effect. And it actually wasn't that fast. Uh, there are kind of a lot of targets, including like drones and shields and things. Um, so they kind of s uh, soaked up the um, homing shots. Uh, but here, yeah, we're getting through it very quickly. And uh, Queen Butterfly is actually somebody that I'm working on the max luck of right now. <laughs> so that's perfect timing. Okay, there she goes. Uh, and I brought Magmel because they have the, uh, the copy bump combo, and then they can copy the, uh, the first or the main bump combo of um, whomever hits them. Um, and so in this case, that'll be a lot of homing shots, so they're a good uh, partner uh, with them. Okay, and then the time was three and a half minutes, so that's pretty good. I'll have that max luck of Queen Butterfly in no time. Okay, let's take him to one more quest. And then uh, we'll go to uh, Dai Kolkten next. And then uh, for the max luck, I'll bring another character that was uh, buffed. And that is a Skula Evolution. And then she was my number one uh, drop monster recommendation from that buff. Um, she is a, a Pierce with Null Warp and a Blast Pump combo. That's unchanged from before. Uh, but now she has a Null Magic Circle. And so, um, yeah, she'll be a really good uh, partner to use with uh, Solomon, uh, the new Solomon. And then like uh, Asuna, uh, who also has a uh, Null Magic Circle. And uh, yeah. With the Blast Pump combo, she's really good. Alright, but here in the Dai Kokten, uh, there are the mines, so we can fly over those. 
Uh, there are warps, though. Oh, that was a quick clear. <laughs> there are warps, and then uh, none of my hatcher monsters have that, so we'll have to be careful there. Uh, but yeah, like I said in Queen Butterfly, um, Gimlet has the dark uh, sub-bump combo, so he'll do extra damage in here. And then uh, World, he was already kind of famous for being, uh, you know, useful in here. Um, especially if you use, like, a team of him. Uh, unfortunately, I only have one Mundus, so... or one World. Alright, there's the Warps. And I think there we got a good look at uh, World's uh, sub bump combo. Uh, that short range concentrated spread. And then um, as for Gimlet, uh, he gets some flack for his, um, for his illustration, but I really like it. I think uh, it's very high quality and it's kind of different from a lot of the other uh, Monster Strike illustrations that we get. So, yep, just hitting bump combos here and there they go. <laughs> so yeah, pretty smooth so far. Uh, for Ableberries, uh, you definitely want to give them the sidekick. Um, I think for uh, Gimlet, you might want to give him the uh, the Kin Strength, uh, because his attack is already high, and then uh, he has the uh, Super Null Damage Wall. Uh, I think Strike Haste would be good for uh, World, uh, get out that uh, Delay Strike Shot more quickly. It's still one of the Strike Shots with the longest uh, charge up. Um, and actually, maybe you could give them um, maybe the metal farming uh, Ableberry or the experience Ableberry. Uh, because now with their uh, bump combo so strong, uh, they could be good for farming easy quests or going through the normal quests uh, in case you wanted to raise your rank. Okay, so I just hit everybody's bump combo one turn and then uh, the masks are, uh, yeah... 75% gone. <laughs> uh, that's kind of something you really can't avoid if you're using like a homing team uh, in this mission. So it's just kind of kill or be killed, uh, like a test of speed. Yeah, there goes the second mask. So boss gets angry and uh, no more healing walls for us and we take more damage. All right, this should get us through this stage. But uh, Gimlet, you could certainly use him for uh, Bishamonten. Uh, if you did not have max luck of Bishamonten yet, you could uh, get her pretty easily now. Um, Bishamonten was great for me in... where was it? Kanan. Uh, Max Luck in Kanan. That... Um, whoops. <laughs> okay, so we died there. Uh, my positioning was bad. Uh, but I think we get the idea of how strong they are there. Okay, one last quest. Let's go to uh, Yamato Takeru Zero. And then um, before Gim Gimlet got his buff this morning, uh, it was kind of a joke to bring him to uh, Yamato Take to Zero, um, because although he has some, uh, although he has a lot of things good for this quest, uh, the flight, the pierce, the right element, and all that, uh, he also has the highest speed in the game. So the speed bomb is going to do a lot of damage to him. Uh, but now that his bump combo is so strong, uh, you can bring a team of him into here and then get through the quest like quickly enough that you will not get hit by that attack at all. <laughs> So yeah, um, if you had a team of uh, Gimlets and you did not have the max luck yet of uh, Yamato Taku to Zero, uh, that might be something to look uh, into. And then uh, my max luck here is also really good for uh, Yamato Taku to Zero, and he also got a buff this morning. Uh, that's a Wadaberion Ascension, or a Kevin Ascension. Um, and then he's a Flight Pierce with Null Damage Wall um, and a Blast Bump combo. 
And then with the buff, he picks up a uh, dash. So that's a little bit of extra speed if you hit that gauge. Uh, dash does not change the fact, though, that um, power pierce types slow down more than anybody when they um, hit enemies. Um, so yeah, we're still going to see a lot of uh, slowdown there. Okay, but uh, yeah, getting through these early stages pretty quickly here as well. Um, positioning is going to be key. Trying to keep everybody close together just so that you can uh, hit them all, you know, every turn um, is really going to help how much damage you can do and how quickly you can get through. And then um, if you are using a character with a Blast Bump combo, uh, you want to hit that character last. Um, because all bump combos activated uh, by that Blast Bump combo will do less damage. Uh, but still, it's a good idea to bring a uh, character with a Blast Bump combo. Uh, the team that I used to make the max luck of Yamato Taku to Zero uh, was a couple of uh, Shinji Kaoru. Um, they are a uh, light element pierced with Minesweeper. Uh, from the Evangelion uh, collaboration. And the reason why they are good, uh, they have a very strong bump combo, the uh, lock-on one-way. And then they also have the um, AT field, uh, which acts like uh, Lucifer's barrier. Um, so that was really good for blocking the uh, speed bomb like we see here. And uh, yeah, that can save us a lot of uh, damage. So yeah, that was pretty easy to do as well. Maybe you could even use a mix of uh, Gimlet and uh, Shinji Kaoru. Uh, but actually, I take that back. Uh, when you are using uh, homing uh, characters, um, using a bunch of homing characters together, um, somehow it's uh, more than the sum of its parts. It's just really uh, effective, so... Yeah, either load up on Shinji Kaoru or load up on homing, I would say. So yeah, if we shoot into the corner, then we'll come back pretty much the same way we came. Um, so that can kind of keep my guys closer together. Alright, there, thankfully, the speed bomb went into uh, Wada Benion, so that was much less damage uh, than if it had gone to somebody else. Okay, boss sequence. Uh, from now, the speed bombs are going to do a lot more damage, so let's... Uh, hopefully we can get through these stages quickly. Whoops, I missed World there, uh, but uh, Gimlet, with his uh, highest speed in the game, was able to come around and then hit Gimlet, or hit uh, World, so that was good. Okay, here we'll shoot into the corner again, we'll get the bump combos and avoid the uh, needle panels. Ooh. <laughs> so what is that, 30? That was like 35,000 damage there from the speed bomb to Gimlet, so yeah. We want to be hit by that as little as possible. Uh, this is the hardest stage, I would say, of this mission. Uh, positioning is very important. You don't want to be on the uh, the sides of Yamato Take to Zero. Um, but of course you want to get rid of the blue demons and all that, so yeah. I would use strike shots on this stage, uh, even uh, if you're not sure about how you're doing. <laughs> Alright, another speed bomb into Gimlet, so big, big damage. Uh, we got the heart there, thankfully, so let's pick that up, hit some more bump combos. Okay, we avoided that uh, horizon laser, that was very important. Okay, more homings there, very good. Okay, speed bomb on Wadaberion, that's good. More bump combos here. Yeah, as we can see there, even with the speed, uh, he went down through Yamato Takeru once, came up, and then uh, barely got down again before he stopped, so yeah. Okay, I was trying to aim slightly to the left to pick up the heart, but my angle was too vertical, so oh well. <laughs> okay, last stage. Uh, Gimlet's very near the needle panels, so let's use his uh, strike shot. It's a laser plus homing, and it's pretty strong. 
okay. I think two homing shots into the mini boss down there took him down, so that's good. Alright, let's use a world strike shot as well. Uh, it's not the second tier, so we won't get the speed and power up, but uh, we'll get the delay, which is kind of the more important part anyway. Alright, and then finally we'll use a Wada Betty on strike shot. That's a uh, speed up. Uh, it charges up quickly. I think it's every 12 turns, so that's pretty nice to have. And you get the cool uh, theme music. <laughs> Alright, so that was Yamato Takedo Zero. Um, again, if you haven't made the max luck of him, he's one of the better impossible max lucks even now, so yeah, you might want to look into making him. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of characters that I'm very excited about. Uh, Skula and Wadaberion as drop monsters, and then um, World and Gimlet as the hatcher monsters. They're all pretty strong. And then uh, maybe I'll work on them in the uh, shrine to get them some able berries. Okay, uh, enjoy those, and we'll see you again. Take care.